I'm Fox 4 meteorologist Andrew Shipley and in recent weeks two studies have came out looking at the economic impacts of red tide. A joint study released last month by SECF, Captains for Clean Water and the Conservancy of Southwest Florida estimated if a bloom similar to the 2018 super bloom happens again, it would cost the local economy billions. That study has now been backed up by a similar study by the University of Central Florida's Rosen College of Hospitality Management. Dr. Sergio Alvarez, a UCF natural resource economists use county tax collections to look how the 2018 red tide in Florida impacted tourism. We expected the, the impacts to be big, but we honestly, we were surprised. Dr. Alvarez and his team found the state lost $2.7 billion in tourism dollars in 2018 alone. You know, traditionally we look at or we think of billion dollar disasters as things like, you know, hurricanes, wildfires, things that will destroy a lot of property. Red tide is different because red tide doesn't really destroy property, but it definitely destroys this business opportunity. While big losses in Southwest Florida were not at all surprising, the study found similar losses in Southeast Florida. They experienced the red tide in 2018, not for uh, as long of a period as in Southwest Florida, but because the tourism economy in Southeast Florida, you know, Miami, Broward, Palm Beach, they have big, big, big tourism economies. The study found both coasts each lost at least a billion dollars, but to Dr. Alvarez's surprise, the industry saw greater impacts in tourism dollars when red tide levels were beginning compared to their peaks. So there seems to be this information effect um, where whenever the red tide begins, people go ahead and cancel the, res the reservations or make alternate plans. Dr. Alvarez says studies like this enforce the need to spend money up front in solving water quality issues to avoid cleaning them up later. Dr. Alvarez says he's looking to expand his research to include the red tide after Hurricane Ian, as well as looking to different industries like the amusement parks in Orlando to see if visitors when red tide was most intense, stayed out of the water and spent their vacation and their money on dry land. In studio, meteorologist Andrew Shipley, Fox 4.